Lucifer One MNBRT 5:51 p.m. April 7th, 2020. Uh, funny story. I was uh, doing my workout this morning about in the 11 o'clock hour. I was contacted. Uh, somebody went to our website and sent a, a submission. Lo and behold, after uh, conversing back and forth, we got some down on this end here, Rich, too, as well. Um, two things are going on. Either somebody's walking barefooted or we got Bigfoot going on, okay? And I stepped in this one right here and back over here. And here's one right here. And it looks like there's a raise right up here which could possibly, highly, highly, highly used and possibly suggest a mid-tarsal break. Here is a right foot. What? But I shouldn't say right foot, a right impression. And I'm looking for the, the left one. Could be right here. I'm excited. This is exciting. But once the plaster will be evidence collection kit, uh, two, three evidence collection kits. Uh, I'm looking for what I Uh, McDonald's Lord please forgive me for what I did in my body uh, like I said I was uh, working out when all this happened and frantically uh, running around and putting stuff together what I'm looking for is my tape measure hold on guys I don't know why anybody would be walking around in this substrate barefooted. Okay, uh, yeah, gallons of water, uh, 100 pounds of plaster of Paris, masks. You know, I was probably just so excited I forgot to to pack it. I know, camera's going all over the place. Forgive me. Oh wait, be my dance. Oh right on. I didn't. Sweet. Okay. Say Rich! about a foot uh, about 11 and a half inches long maybe 11 about 11 inches long about four and a half wide across the the ball about two and a half across the heel 
I'm gonna start mixing up some plaster and pouring plaster um, in all the spots. So we got that location right there. And if there's a small one, there very well could possibly be bigger impressions around somewhere. But uh, so this is where we stopped our vehicles and Rich pointed out to me this one. I want to get it down in there with the 4K camera. There was one right here, but you can see a, a, a tire track pushed the mud in on that one. And we got it going this way, the opposite way as well. It could be the very the same individual, but I'm getting a different measurement um, of well, right here. It looks like there could be claws of this impression. Is this a bear double stepping? Is that hair that I'm seeing that's uh, in the mud that's leaving it that pattern? Um, is that a small ball of the foot right here? This one is about nine and a half inches. But then again, we got tracks right here and that uh, could have disturbed and deformed that impression, that possible footprint. So there's only one way to do it, when in doubt, cast. And that's what I'm gonna go do is uh, mix, up some, mix up some plaster right now. And uh, that's gonna pull out some more detail, more than meets the eyes. So I'll be back, just kind of, kind of watch where I'm walking here just in case there is a, a great big one. Is it bear, is it human, is it Sasquatch? We'll find out. Okay guys, at this location, there was this one right here, which was a good one. Then we'd have it over here, but it looks like due to these tracks, it got ran over. What I am noticing is that the impressions, we'll call them impressions, are pretty much right along the side here of uh, where tires go. Okay. Rich still has a two hour drive to get back home and he's nice enough. He should be home already, but he's nice enough to stay out here and show me uh, everything that he's found. And we'll talk with Rich here after a little while. But you can see my boots and his boots. Okay, so we are aware. Um, again, here's that one that's facing that way. Got pushed in by the tracks. That one is casted. What we got going on here was really odd. We got it going this way and then going that way, like it was standing with toe to toe, facing toe to toe. Same thing going on right here. Right here would be the heel. And then this one is castable and uh, the plaster started getting hard here. Here is another one with the heel going down this way and the toes would be off on this side. Um, and yeah, we got, that was the last one I casted so far. Yet yeah, here is another one. It seems to be bunched up right here in the center. That would be a big toe or impression. Uh, the appearance of a big toe. Here we go, another one right here. <sighs> Which would come back to this one. 
So what I'm seeing is this dried. Yes, we got left and right. However, this is all within a human stride, okay? Um, from heel to heel, we got about two feet. Okay, that heel, this impression, to the heel of this impression is two foot. Oh, there we go. Heel to heel. So let's go back two more feet. And that would be right here. Um, this would be left foot. This one would be of the right. Same individual again, right by the tracks. Again. It's about five pushed out. Uh, about 11, 10 and 3 fourths. Another one right here, another one right here. And it is kind of going in a straight line. This one to this one. Right, left, right. Is it a human? Here's another one, a big, big digit. Going down and out. There's the heel. Same individual. This one got squished in by the tires. Another left foot, there would be a right foot, left foot. Going back this way. About 11 foot long, or I'm sorry, 11 inches long. Four wide, two and a half at the heel. Same individual, same individual from what I'm seeing so far. And I'm seeing it walking more in a human human pattern. Yeah. Full crap load? All right. How was the detail? I'll be right there. More cash to do, that is rich. We'll be right back. So who or whatever made these tracks and I casted this, uh, they went in and went out trying to follow the same route. Now, Rich did put his foot, take his boots off, and he, he did uh, do an impression himself. And you can see that impression of his right there. And his toes, um, his big toe, it, it, you can see how it narrows, uh, narrows at the tip, which is a indication, there we go, of a, a shoe wearing foot. And if I were to cast that, we'd uh, be able to pull out a lot more of that detail. 
However, that one right there is not uh, his, nor is that one. But this one is. And he sun sunk down a little bit. I stepped right there with my boot and me being 203, uh, 205, at least right there in that substrate, I'm not sinking down. But let's put my foot in between the two here and I am sinking down. And that's with something that has more mass than just a regular foot which could possibly be used. but still I mean who would be walking barefoot we gotta ask ourselves that who would be walking barefoot in this stuff look at all of these rocks around all of these little rocks I wouldn't want to do it I got sensitive feet <laughs> <laughs> It's cold, it's cold, you know. Yeah, yeah, the cold water, that's the, that's the snow melt that's coming down here. You go a mile up there and you'll still see me. I don't know if they went farther yet. Right. No, I don't know how far they went. I just, I kind of, where I started seeing them, I didn't really look as I went back. Wow. Um, so the ones you found, Rich, are still back that way? Oh, yeah. Okay. You're a half a mile, three quarters of a mile. Half a mile, three quarters of a mile. What I'd like to do is get back to those ones, the ones that you showed me, it looked like they got pretty good detail. I would definitely love the castles. Well, we better go in there because it's... Going to, yeah, sundown. So I was thinking, sure. are we gonna, do we have to walk back there or are we driving? Yeah, we'll have to go out there. We'll spin out and get stuck in this shit. All right, okay. So we, we'll be right back, guys. Sit by the time. I want to get a higher point of view of the tracks going down. Because it's a good track we are right here. This is where I stepped. Okay. Whoop. Couldn't help myself. Okay, everybody. I was just wearing the wearing the mask because I didn't want to breathe in the plaster. <laughs> Nothing to do with the virus. Okay, I, I promise you. Um, I shower with Lysol and use sanitizer for shampoo. So. With that being said, I'm here with Rich, and uh, Rich's friend Brian contacted me while I was working out earlier today um, about possible footprints, okay? Um, that's all we're going to leave it at right now. I, to me, it's not a bear. I'm here. I'm on, I'm on location. I've casted. You guys have been with me, but now I'm doing the interview with Rich. So... Rich, tell me first off, what's going on back here in this area? What are you guys doing? Well, we're building a boardwalk here for the ATV club about a mile and a half behind us. Okay. Farther back into the woods. And we're at, going to keep this uh, location undisclosed. We're not going to give out the name of it because really, to be honest with you, I don't think it has a name. But in any case, it does. We, And uh, for purposes of ongoing research, possibly, we're not going to say where we're at. Um, so these guys are building a boardwalk for the ATV club. And... When did this project start? Uh, early December. Oh boy, you guys had to deal with a lot of frozen ground. That sucks. <laughs> um, now things are warming up. Actually, in that December time frame, have you guys noticed any barefoot, barefooted footprints or anything like that, bipedal footprints in the snow? No. No. When you guys have been working, have you heard any strange vocalizations or sounds coming out of the woods? No. Okay. Um, so when was the last time you were here prior to today? Was it just yesterday on Monday? Yesterday. Okay. And uh, around what time were you here um, Monday? Would you say about one o'clock or so in that time, in that hour? Yeah, I was back at the boardwalk working and I was there from about nine o'clock in the morning till about one, one thirty. I left. I'm just going to set this up here. That way I could uh, step back here. And, uh, um, so prior, let me ask you this, when did you guys first, when did you, who 
Who was the first one to notice it? Was it I, you? Yeah, I noticed it. And that was yesterday. just this past Sunday then? Yesterday. Yesterday. Monday. It was just yesterday. Yeah. Okay. Prior to yesterday, when were you guys here last? Um, last week. Pat, we had another guy up here Saturday just loaded some lumber on that other end, but he wasn't here very long Saturday morning. But we were up here working for two days last week. Um, there was three of us up here, I think Wednesday and Thursday. We were up here all day, both days. And you guys at that time didn't notice these prints. No. And I, I should say not because they do look rather fresh. So sometime you would, between yesterday around the one o'clock hour till the time you and I came up here uh, was at the beginning of the hour, about 6.07, 6 o'clock, somewhere in that time frame. Um, these disturbances you found, you found these footprints. Yeah. Now, with that being said, there's four wheel tracks here, or side by side tracks, ATV tracks. Were they here yesterday? Yes. Yes, they were, okay. So then, basically, the only thing that is new that popped out at you are the footprints. So the ATV, so Saturday when Pat was here, we have a bulldozer back in the woods, mm -hmm. and he back dragged this whole road up to about here. Okay. So there was no tracks at all. Zero tracks, and then when he left Saturday morning, midday, then that's when these ATV tracks had to appear and these footprints had to appear somewhere between midday Saturday and well, I was out here Monday morning at 8, 9 o'clock, so it was wow. And midday Saturday on through Sunday night sometime is when these... Yeah, right? And no, in, in the, these are footprints. These are actual footprints. Um, I was, I came up here expecting to find a bear, <laughs> but I, I don't see that to be the case because I'm looking for where the hind paw meets the fore paw and overlapping occurs where it makes it look like a footprint. These, this individual uh, has an 11, 11 inch long footprint. Um, and from what I'm seeing, the only, we're seeing slight differences in, in length is because of the substrate and the, and the, uh, well, that wouldn't make sense then because of this footprint right here had to have been here prior because it looks like that four wheel track pushed it in that way. Yeah, on that one, yeah. On that one, yeah. So, I mean, there had to have been uh, some disturbance here. More f different four wheel tracks, I guess, had sometime when had to have come through us sometime, um, even um, when you were here. So sometime after that as well. Um, so, I mean, I got a couple casted uh, and Rich wants to go home. Uh, I, Rich, first off, thank you so much for, um, and, and Brian, I guess he was the guy who knew to contact. Yeah. <laughs> we sure do appreciate that. How, how long of a project is this, do you uh, predict it being? As far as going on uh, from now? Um, yeah, how long until it's completed? Uh, the boardwalk's complete. We just got a few culverts to put in, so as soon as this frost goes out of the ground, so right. I would say you know another three weeks or something, we'll be back when it dries up. And How finish. deep is the frost? Would you say? Um, in the trail, it's probably two or three feet. You yeah. know, the snowmobiles run down. It's a snowmobile trail, but yeah. off in the woods, it's probably hardly nothing because we had a fair amount of snow up here. Mm, gotcha, man. Um. I'll give you my card. I know you want to get going home. I'm going to finish up here, but I want to say thank you again yeah. for our uh, contact. I got hand sanitizer if you want to use it. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I certainly do appreciate that. And I'm um, going to be back here tomorrow with uh, another guy as well and uh, casting as much as we possibly can. I mean, we got to document, document, document. So I call it in the reserves. Um, the rest of the team is. Uh, mending and on lockdown so stay tuned to more mnbrt later okay guys 7 44 p.m april 7th 2020 um leaving rich is actually pulling out right now um and i'm gonna follow him on the way out light is against us right now he still has a, a long ride home um such a nice guy just a stick through me with this so I uh, can cast what I can cast uh, of the 
finer prints that I've seen so far. Getting out of here and um, heading to headquarters, northern headquarters right now um, for the night and then tomorrow I should be joined by the one and only uh, Mark Peterson um, from Mark and Dusty or Dusty and Mark's Adventures. So. <laughs> Going through some mud puddles. Definitely glad I got my SUV. All right, you guys, I'll be back later. All right, you guys, here's a shot of the footprints. I'm a little ways away from where we were, probably maybe a quarter to a mile, maybe a half mile. And here is the track, the trackway. Let me get up top of here. And you can see what I'm looking at. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh I'm geeking. Oh, I'm so, and they're, oh my gosh. And they're all the way up to here. And they're coming right around here. Oh my gosh, I'm geeking. I'm geeking. I'm excited. Um, Cause, There, you can see it. You can see the trackway. Right in here is way better. Of the trackway. And for the most part, it's pretty much in a straight line. Oh my gosh. I've got goosebumps. I'm excited. I'm thrilled. And whatever it is, it's in a walking pace. It's in a walking pace. And it goes over here. And it seems like it stays right on that berm. And this is cold. This is, I mean, oh my gosh, it's cold. The ground is cold. Um, this is good stuff. Yeah, I take a picture of this with my, my camera. How about that, Rich? I mean, if, if you're looking down here at this trackway, it looks like it's a straight line to you, to me at least. How about you? Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of fun at. Okay. So that one right there, then we should go back about two feet. Maybe, should we, you got that one? Okay, up, there it is. I would like to know where it came in at. Yep, I see that. You know, it looks like somebody turned around here. Yeah. You know, did somebody park here and walk from here and just play the game? Or... We'll, we'll have to look when we go down the hill there. Some soft spots will be. Okay. But you know what? Here, right here too. We got one right here. So, yeah, I guess we, let's just keep on going down and see what else we can find. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, that's hard. That, one, that one's hard. Uh, da, 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 da. So did it cross somewhere in here? Did it cross? Crossing. Yeah, that's hard. See, I'll get down the, I see it down on the bottom of the hill. It looks kind of wet and soft down there. All right. We're looking. I'm on your six. <laughs> All right. Let's take a picture of this trackway. Freaking, I'm geeking. Okay, we got one here, one here. 
Mr. Ease. Right here's a better angle. A little higher. Oh yeah. Um, just a few yards from where we just were last. They're right in the middle. I would walk that walk over here. Yeah, I would too. I would too. And look at this one. It's, it stood right here. And with this both, whoever, whatever did that, has this left foot and this right foot facing each other again. Did it, is it trying to go out the same way it came back in? And I did cast that one, but it broke apart right at, about at the toe marking. It looks to me like they went in and then that's coming back out. Absolutely. Just like that there, you know, there's yep. a heel and a heel. A heel and a heel. So it's like it's trying to backtrack, like it's, whatever it is could possibly be aware that it's making the tracks. Okay. And if it's making the tracks, why would it walk right in the center instead of somewhere off on the leafy, more, more, Vegetus, vegetus. I just made that up. <laughs> <laughs> more, 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 more of the vegetation is that. <laughs> well, I'm gonna check on the bottom of the hill there down there where it's wet again. And yeah. Right down there. See if it goes all the way up to the main road or whatever. Right. Huh. But yeah, who would want? I mean, again, guys, the substrate is cold. Uh, I wouldn't be able to do it. Uh, especially, I mean, Uh, hey, this, 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 this uh, yeah, I'm at a loss for words. And look, there's still ice on these roads here, you guys. And somebody's walking around these woods barefooted with ice still on the road for over a mile, barefooted. Does that make any sense to you guys? Oh, he stopped. He must have found something. All right. Oh, yeah. Here. Got one right here. It went off to the side. Huh. <laughs> so yes, my good friend uh, for many, many years, Mark Peterson from Dusty and Mark's Adventures, Mark and Dusty's Adventures. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Dusty and Mark's because Dusty's way cooler than Mark. Um, sorry, not sorry. No. <laughs> uh, he'll be joining me tomorrow for sure. As soon as I get cell phone reception, I'm sending him a text. That's odd. That that's so that is hard. Yeah, and I was, right when you stopped, before you stopped, that's what I was recording. I was like, see guys, this is ice. Who would be walking barefooted on a road with us ice and with rocks and running water in this cold? They're at, oh, 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 oh. Here. Yeah. Yep. Could be the heel right here. 
big tool. Right foot there. And that's the right foot. Left foot would be over here somewhere. So it's telling me that it's walking on this berm on the higher ground where it's more grassy now. Uh, another possible disturbance. Not too detailed to say for sure. That's why I say possible. Very disciplined in that. And you gotta be. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, good idea. All right, Let's see if he's found some more. 8.04 p.m. No, you know what? I think at the last stop, that was probably, they had to have gone somewhere from there. Something we looked at that's the right. Here's the left. Okay. Rain probably washed it out. I don't know what's making these tracks. Is it somebody that's all methed out? <laughs> Is it Bigfoot? A juvenile? see these impressions this is how the trackers do we look for impressions and you can tell when it's been washed out it didn't want to go through that <laughs> why not it's already barefoot no and I'm not saying it's Bigfoot I'm not saying it's human as a researcher it's just our job to go out here document and uh, cast and put it in the right in hands from here. But man, I love field research. This is awesome. So Rich, from where we where I cast it at, how far are we? I and mean, we're still seeing these prints. Three fourths of a mile? Maybe a mile? Yeah, we're close to a mile. Yeah? Oh boy, almost out to the edge of the road. Who do, uh, it, 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 and I, I know I brought this up a couple times, but who would want to walk barefooted? Yes, I am well aware of those running shoes that have the different, uh, I guess you say, places for toes individually. My good friend, the shadow has those. Gotta give out 
a shout out to the shadow of the CSRA, CSRA Jeffrey R. Thomas, my brother from another mother. Uh, he does his uh, his running and stuff like that in those shoes. So I'm well aware of those. However, there is some tread on the bottom of those shoes um, and markings to help with gripping. Huh. All right, well, that's probably it. I'm gonna. All right, Rich. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. Appreciate all of everything. Have fun tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna have a yeah. It's gonna be a playground tomorrow. <laughs> you take care, man. All right. But yep. Thank you.